Welcome back to San Diego People. A private investment firm has been instrumental in bringing private capital and philanthropy together for positive social impact in San Diego. The co-founder of Mission Driven Finance, Lauren Gratton, is here to talk more about this along with Beth Spiral. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, and this is was, great. We're learning about impact investing. Yes, and as we said in the first uh, segment, impact investing is when you are investing dollars for a financial return and a positive social impact. And uh, Debbie, as she explained, has been working through San Diego grant makers, but it really it does take a whole city and a whole sure. village to make these kinds of things happen. And you get the most leverage when you bring together philanthropy as well as uh, private capital mm. and even government resources. So, mm. so Lauren is a co-founder of Mission Driven Finance, which is a really a unique organization in the country. But he, but it's focused here in San Diego. It's an investment platform that um, is about driving financial return and impact in San Diego. And yeah, tell us Mission about Driven that, Finance has been incredibly creative in using the tools of finance for social change. So I'm excited to have Lauren explain that. Thank you, Beth, and thank you, Jason, for having me here today. And you. You captured it well at Mission Driven Finance. We are all about using finance as a tool for change. We use our financial know-how and our community ties to think creatively about how can we make a difference in this community. I started not unlike Beth and Debbie. I spent a decade as a nonprofit fundraiser and I said, how do we get more money into social change than just what we give away? Beth was saying earlier, it's, a, it's great. Philanthropy is wonderful and it's not quite enough. So I partnered with a wonderful organization getting this moving capital into creative ways. And I'm just going to tell you about two of those today. Um, one is thanks to working with Union Bank Foundation, they gave us capital to try to lend creatively to organizations that were bigger than, that had gotten a good start, that were growing and doing good in their community, but were just shy of meeting bank financing qualifications. And so we said, what does this look like? What? How can we get over this hurdle and really help small businesses? And so we don't look at personal credit scores. We look at really what would go well at, for the community if everything went right. There's always reasons to say no to a borrower, but we're looking for those reasons to say yes. And those reasons to say yes being what happens in the community. Through that program advance that we're working with Beth and others on, we've invested in 13 companies in San Diego so far, and they are all doing incredible things for the community, from creating great jobs at Moniker Group to training entrepreneurs at Somali Family Service or preventing type 2 diabetes at Skinny Jean Project. These are the kinds of things that we want to see happen in our community, and then there are ways that you can support them. And so I guess my question is, if some but you mentioned five thousand dollars is the minimum. If if somebody is investing this, how do you determine the return on investment? I, I understand that it's great, it's philanthropic, and it's great for the community. But as as far as dollars and cents, so. Um when the, when the Jewish Community Foundation, through its donors, mm -hmm. um, invests money in the loan fund, the loan fund is paying a low level, but is paying interest on that money, and we then, we you know, we we put that money in the funds that people have at the Jewish Community Foundation, and then you have more money to give away mm -hmm. as the investment grows. So it's it's you're lending money out. It's a fixed income investment, just like any other fixed income yeah. investment, except that it's local and it's making a difference here in San Diego. And I think it's important to note that Mission Driven Finance is lending to small businesses, but it's also lending to non profits mm -hmm. who can demonstrate an ability to pay back. Because mm -hmm. so it, it seems like the vetting process is really unorthodox. You said you don't look right. at credit and things like that. Talk it to is, us about that. It is an unorthodox process, but again, we're looking at what what is possible. How do we underwrite against impact, management, and finance, not just the financials. So we take what's sometimes called a private equity approach to a debt product that's very technical, but getting into really what does this look like when we look towards the future instead of just looking at the past history of this company or this nonprofit. So the two of the three that I mentioned are nonprofit organizations and they get capital from uh, running programs that are paid for by our local governments. And so they needed to have 
a bridge loan to help them to work through running these wonderful programs before they could get reimbursed. Mm -hmm. Another nonprofit that we worked with and work really closely with Beth on is San Diego Habitat for Humanity. We've all talked about and we all know how much affordable housing we need in this region. It is a crisis. And we also know that home ownership is such a big driver of creating a difference for multiple generations. And so that's why we were absolutely proud to partner with San Diego Habitat for Humanity and work with them to lend up to $2 million to accelerate affordable home ownership for 30 families in this region. Right, and so we we were an anchor investor in that fund also. Again, by aggregating the many donors that, that we have. You know, when you're a donor to the Jewish Community Foundation, you, you basically have an account. It's called a donor advised fund at the Jewish Community Foundation. And it's your own, in effect, it's kind of your own personal foundation. Mm -hmm. And so the money in, in those funds, you can say, I want to invest in Habitat for Humanity because I want more affordable housing in San Diego. And then interest gets paid into your fund, the capital we anticipate will be returned and then you, you know you can do it again or you could make a grant to somebody else but you know however you want you know however you want to handle it but it's giving um, our clients our donors more flexibility for how they want to build the world that, that they want to live in well I know in, uh, uh, obviously affordable housing it's come up a few times it's very very high on your list of priorities how opti optimistic are you that programs like this could really put a dent in the in the crisis um, I am optimistic if we can also if we if we can uh, put up some of these things and show that they work and then bring in some federal state and local some government capital to really get it to scale. I don't think that private and philanthropic capital alone will will do the trick. Um, I don't know. How do you feel? I spend a lot of time thinking about housing, and I would say this crisis that we have in the region is too big for us to th leave any tools behind. That's we right. need to throw everything at it. And using private capital that can be a little bit more flexible can, to Beth's point, unlock those bigger pools of money, government support, other things that can make these markets work a little bit better to serve everybody in them. Right. Sometimes the government dollars actually are used to unlock big pockets of private capital hmm. it just you know it depends on the deal but the real power here is bringing philanthropy the private capital and government together you know to, yes. to fund solutions because yes. it takes all three what what is it they say it takes a village yeah. to raise a child well it takes it's, a village to build a city yeah. it makes sense okay well coming up all three leaders beth lauren and debbie are going to sit down together to discuss how you invest and participate in impact investing very interesting we'll be right back